Hi there. In this Zoom tutorial sequence, I'm going to show you how to set up a contact. Setting up a contacts list will make you more efficient when it comes to inviting colleagues and friends to join you in a meeting. There are two scenarios you need to be aware of. The first is requesting to add someone who already has a Zoom account as a contact. You can't add them without first getting their permission. The second scenario is requesting to add someone as a contact, but who doesn't yet have a Zoom account. I'll show you how to set up a contact for someone without an existing Zoom account in a separate tutorial. Look in the Show More section below this tutorial movie for a link. Let's look at scenario one first, a contact who already has a Zoom account. I've already launched Zoom and I'm at the home screen. If you focus on the menu bar options along the top edge of the Zoom window, you'll see a Contacts button, the fourth one along. Click the Contacts button. On the contact screen, if you hover your cursor or rest your cursor on the plus button, you'll get a tooltip which indicates that you can add contacts as well as creating or joining a channel. I'll be looking at channels in another tutorial. So click the Create New button and then select Add a contact from the drop down menu. Enter the email address of the person you want to add as a contact. It's worth noting here that you need to use the email address that they have used for their Zoom account. You may need to check this with them. Now click the Add button. You'll get a confirmation message to say that the invitation has been sent. I'll click OK. After I send the contact request invitation, notice I now have a 1 next to external. And if I click the expand triangle, you'll see there's a pending invitation waiting for a reply. Next, I'm going to go over to my contacts Zoom account. I'll sign in and you'll hear and see as soon as I sign in a notification towards the top right corner of my screen. So I'll click on the chat button because that's where the request arrives. Make sure that Contact Requests is selected. Then, if I want to accept the request, I just click the Accept button. Done. Me and my mate are now Zoom contacts, and I could start a chat if I wanted to. I don't want to do that right now. I'm going to show you what happens in the original Zoom account, the one that sent the contact request in the first place. I'll sign in. Again, you'll hear and see a notification in the top right corner of my screen. And in the chat screen of my Zoom dashboard, you'll see that my contact request has been accepted. This contact will now be available for me to click on when I go through the process of inviting colleagues and friends to a meeting. You'll see me doing that in other Zoom tutorials. Don't forget to keep looking in the Show More section below the description below this tutorial for links to my other Zoom tutorials. Thanks for watching. Please like the like if you like to like and join me for more Zoom tutorials.